Pambode Ona, good evening. I'm glad it's for welcome Ona to yet another very important broadcast tonight. Um, first, I want to apologize um, because we will not be able to bring the program to Ona last week. Too many things we are begging for attention. I apologize. Today, we will discuss with two key democratic institutions there. The leaders then, Madam Sawa Samai, we are the executive secretary for um, the National Cohesion Commission. Commission, and Mr. Ablai Masiambe Bangura, um, we are the chairperson of the PPRC and former um, Deputy Minister of Justice. We are here today for this course, very current and emerging situation uh, in our country. Then two institutions here, yeah, are very important institutions there, yeah, as I will tell you now soon. But the conversation don't begin. I want to tell plenty thank you to the people that hold on the follow we each and every inch of the way. I want to welcome Una to the show and for tell Una plenty, plenty thank you for Una take time off for follow this very interesting and important conversation. Today, I get them two very important people there. You know, since the power don't give me 30% uh, on that give bill, I want to start with the woman today. Too many things have happened. Madam Hawa Samai, I want to give you context, small context into how your institution come into being. I know say in Nigeria right now, you go for go observe the elections, but uh, the love of the motherland make it take time off, you know, for can't join this program. Set small context to we. How did your organization come about, your outfit, and waiting on a call mandate? Go on, Hawa. Madam Samai, you get me? Mr. Minister, I want to tell you, thank you for what we bring on this program today. Yeah, you get me? Hello? You get me? Yes, ma'am. What are you hearing? You are loud and clear. Loud and clear. Yes, I get you clear. Loud and clear. Yes. Yes, it's a I very loud and clear. I want to tell you plenty thank you for what we bring on this program. This institution independent commission for peace and national cohesion first nabiga and the two tenga conciliation we ask say after the war that we all go look and see how government go bring an institution for peace come na this country here so from that ten the way their recommendation been done they Governments and don't come and go, and um, civil society then don't advocate for me. Then go set up this institution, but none not be this key recommendation for Duan. While this campaign may gone, Kofi Annan as well in 2000 and in day as Secretary General at the UN, even big say all them countries that we don't go through war or semblance of war for we go able for drill deep. And for no waiting at the root cause from them problem and they able for address them. The one their way, they're not take gone, but it's like they already don't go through war. Then says them to beg them, say made and set up infrastructure for peace them, not the country then. So then two campaigns mm -hmm. have been the gum simultaneously. And when president come, he been see as priority. But it not be once, let it just say, okay, then I manifesto for Duam, make then start this peace commission. He said, no, make the nation say, say, say they need them. And for do that, first we been get for do a feasibility study. Where we What's not the main? No, no, baby grammar down there. What's not a feasibility study? Okay. Research. Mm -hmm. We'll be studying. Okay. We'll be studying around what other countries they, they do, and this then kind. Mm peace infrastructure they are so and how then they do them. we look around Africa we we'll not go out of Africa because we're not Africans then we study them and also we look at what thing then they do for making them peace commission then they get different different name them and how they set up how then they work we look into the one then they but all their recommendation then they and proposed way for lay we set up we own we've been put on a waiting we call the green paper and 
the president be make them do through the Ministry of Political Affairs, it be make them do consultation nationwide. The one whole country, all 16 districts, and we do consultation. And then we also target key is uh, key group there, like woman group them, picking them, um, um the the civil society they all then why are so will contribute towards waiting um this document after all man don't give your recommendation this document plus a recommendation also been go all the way to this big conference where we take the lead um where political affairs and the then chief minister they may um they may put together where we've been called been to money three this been to money three then call all walks of life back. May all man go look, waiting in at this document, if we want them, and then what till we get for say the country need right, right now, where if we set up this infrastructure for peace, waiting for address. And at the end of the day, we've been come out with a communique. We've been get different experts them, we've been cut across political parties, lines different um, um, governance structures them they all been come together and put this paper and when them well, this then three days they also been covered by all the tv and radio station there so all man all over the country been the follow-up waiting in the happen all political party directly and indirectly be represented nada and been to money three at the end of the day this been to money three waiting commodity we end up can't on a bill a bill we've been get for going to parliament and parliament look at them then self make the your recommendation inside day and then at the end of the day this bill become an act in 2020 and now from this act now they this what we call the independent commission for peace and national cohesion nine then can form them basically then can form up for ensure say we help coordinate and promote peace and national cohesion around the country okay well uh you don't really do it, right? you now don't all man really business. really now all man yeah. contribute towards this okay yes you don't really give a very comprehensive uh, overview of um the context we bring one about and the core mandate. Thank you plenty, plenty for that. We no more. We say uh, we now consult all political parties. But people that been argue say the main the main opposition party, the All People's Congress, not been going at the been to money three. You get anything for say? They may get any reason they not go there because I think say this one very important. See what you are say. Sustainable Minister. peace cohesion of the country. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Minister, one of the things I say directly and indirectly, all men get involved. Number one, okay. when the Minister of Political um, Affairs being consulted all political parties through the PPIC, APC okay. being did it. Then participates okay. in that engagement day. Okay. And then na the, the hall, you, you get some people then they will not be wearing the, the APC um and vest but then they did all body knows say they are apc they were there they mean they they so now can say directly or indirectly even the person yeah, way right. where we make the statement for the woman then of the country that person way get position at the apc party so directly so, yeah. or indirectly go say when are the woman they go represent but you also get that aspect of them so now make i say directly or indirectly all political party they may represent another holding. You you're right, Madam Samuel. I just want to let family over the one ask that question. They you don't clarify loud and clearly now. I mean that is laid home. So um you go hold it for now. Let's talk to the other man. Let me say tell um Mr. Abdullah Bangora Esquire. Um you they lead the political parties registration commission. Um you wanna you tell we I know say since that commission they start, now you're not the youngest person with our leader. Now commission will get locked, forget very accomplished people then. We almost don't end in career then can bring day. So now you're not a young person. Within now the context, within within what's now on a mandate as PPRC and how that don't change over the years. 
Our well, mandate basically, we charge with the responsibility for register political parties. And when mm -hmm. we register them, we also get the responsibility for regulating their activities in terms of uh, supervising and monitoring everything they do. So basically, that's how we call mandate. And also, when there are issues between or amongst political parties, we can come in for mediate as the oversight body charged with the responsibility of overseeing the activities. So we can come in for mediate, both intra and inter party disputes and see how much we can do for help resolve them dispute then they. Okay. So um, over time, and also when I've been the, the trial for review that acts the, the PPRC Act, right? We're talking about some of the things that we don't change. We're not being the trial, or we're being the we're not in now. While it's self and more than some things here, because it's important. They can cancel the, the, the main eye of the storm now. Okay, quite a number of things don't change. We as a commission in the first place, we're going to be a four-member commission. Me, chairman, rep I mean, appointed by His Excellency the President. And then we have a representative from the Bar Association and a representative from the Labor Congress. Then the chief uh, electoral commissioner, now a member of me commission, ex officio. So now we four. But the new act now, the Political Parties Act number 25 of 2022, end on bringing a fifth person when I nominee from the Institute of Church and Accountants in coming for can help we with the aspects of political finance because we also get a responsibility for know how political parties they raise their money, how then they use their money then they and the source where their money then they come out. So that aspect they will be they get some challenge there because we we'll not get the expertise for know some of the statements they wouldn't be submit to we. And therefore we decide say let's bring in somebody from the Institute of Church and Accountant way for the help we in that aspect. Eh? Then also we been get the uh, the administrator and register general as secretary to the commission. Am I online? Is he okay? You are very loud. Uh, okay. yes, that yes, you are, your posture is um, you got okay. it you are almost down. Yes, I will now you are okay. It's okay this You week. are okay now. No 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 okay. yes no no <laughs> Okay. Don't do it the way you do it there. Okay. No. Go left. Okay, you are fine. Fine, okay. So yeah. as I believe, yes. we, yes. don't bring okay. In, yeah, okay. we don't bring in a fifth commissioner from the Institute of Church and Accountants. And uh, the administrator and registrar general was the secretary to the commission. But virtually, you know, they do anything other than in traditional functions of uh, being the custodian of all registrable instruments. So therefore, the new act don't pull and come out. Now that the mm -hmm. executive secretary is the secretary to the commission. And before mm -hmm. now, we had uh, a personnel called the registrar, where Naina be the vote controller and everything. But now we have the executive secretary you don't take the position of the registrar because the name registrar was very restrictive when you look at the functions they were assigned to that personality day in the act. He's not only a registrar of political parties, but not the vote controller and the head of administration. So now we bring in a executive secretary for capture all of them functions. And they, uh, basically, we also have problems with uh, enforcement powers. We've been getting all the regulatory powers, but we've not been getting enforcement powers. And so What's because of that, mean? What do they mean? The power we will make we will compel compliance. We will make we force people. Uh -huh. force people the, 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 by the law. We did give it power for law. We ensure say people comply with the law. We will not been getting power than they at all. We been getting regulatory powers, but we will not been getting enforcement powers than they. So now, the new act don't give we adequate enforcement powers. Then we go able to make at least we we'll call political parties to order for many make sure say they observe the the law of the country. So those okay. are some of the changes the way the new act bring come. Okay. So I'll come to you, Hawa. Um, yes. You know, our country don't go through quite, you know, very difficult times. You said mention now. Uh, in fact, one of the reasons we, um, the TRC and Kofi Annan, the Minsela set their institution yeah, up. So we don't, you don't come in at a time we, uh, yeah. the division of the country, the dipping, we, we approach elections, a lot of incendiary languages, 
you know, will really, really, really threaten the peace and stability of this country. What do you want to do as a commission for peace and national cohesion? Or make sure, say, we will not return to war? Or make sure, say, we are able to pick this country together and continue for making the progress we on the already make under President Julius Madabu administration? Um, thank you. First, I want to say the Peace Commission, just like what I say um, initially, we need to work in isolation. One of the things that they do now for coordinate with efforts with other institutions, then we do realize say, civil society and other people, then may not they work on peace building before the commission established. So with the leverage on them, people then they some of the work that we then don't do, and we will continue for capacitate them, strengthen them. So we all go work together. And the proverbs say many hands make work lighter. So we want to see how everybody will come on board. So whether Peking, Granny, Grandpa, religious leaders, the traditional leaders, then the civil society, will they bring everybody on board? We don't begin to talk, talk to, to them. Now we can't begin going at the ground. Even at Freetown, when at the hottest spots, we'd already divide Freetown into 200 communities. And we work with civil society them for engage all them 200 communities they are so through some funds they will get from the government for make we ensure say peace and national cohesion day. We also get some money them where we get for work in different districts then. Or we'll continue for use structures there within the districts. We don't set up peace coalitions them. When a civil society we already them in the work in the district on peace building, we they engage with they, with they capacitate them, we then we they train them and um, train away they can feel say they not get so that then go continue for work with we now they grow and then go they work for we. We need to left the mammy and the pa and pa man chief them they work, we need to take another the hand. Then say say for F we then a custodian of law them now then parman chief them then 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 chief them then they so one for see how the parliament chief then say go help we for maintain peace and national cohesion we believe say if community own them peace processes then then we will get lasting <clears throat> lasting peace in the country but if everybody they left and give one person say the peace commission no more then we not go able for for sustain them we they get we go for work now make we need a work what they work with the with the political party them we go for the work and in gloves with pprc as we've been done they do um from time in memorial we will continue for engage political party them whether then they're in a parliament whether they want them the leadership um where they work with the pprc them will continue for engage them made them say self, whether then they go campaign or out of campaign because it's not a one-day business also, So just for this election, how they go make people accept results. Now, one great particular for win this, people then get for get and they at the back of their mind and say, you know, what in a one particular for win, lay up prepare for plan B if we plan A no work. All then kind of they now get for the engage political party them with so that at the end of the day, where after the results, all man go accept the results peacefully and we all go work for the interest of Mama Salon. I want to close with one example. I be also go observe one thing in uh, Namibia. When Nabi, Namibia election in the go, it's normal. All man want in political party win. I then at the hall where then they announce the result. Me, I'm in the fred because the way well, the opposition may they go against the one with way 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 when I've been the incumbent. But as they announce the results, so strangely, nine um one pan the big one they say um election done done low go back to we normal i call it them i say eh i say one for see this in a salon now talk to the man on a one-to-one -one basis because if you don't near me now he say say how are say my sister i go talk i'm bank i'm not go talk i'm not english when english will be the talk he say after election we can't get for move on in terms of development he says so let we find us our place we said for help we continue going at the next level for prepare for the next election. He said this election done done slow help we continue go. That nam na Namibia. So we they we will go continue for talk to people them and for encourage them for see how we all go work in the interest for Mama Salon, not to just we own personal interest. Political this election, na few months no more done, done with a Nigeria they own um two days. 
the election go done done. The same way we say on June go kanji no go pass. But after election, what you want for look? Before election, you want for kill the company, you want for fracture the company. If you don't kill the person down, so then I party they safe. Then Uda will go vote for you. So how we go all we self like brother and sister march to this election, we cast we vote and we continue for live as brother and sister. And then the priest commission will continue for preach and walk with the people them every other structure. As I say, religiously, that all man, we picking the all, picking them because then school picking the all deep and the youth. I will go come on board so that we go help my salon move to the next phase. And then they go, even the political party there. You know what it is? So I've been so glad you want to see all the, the, the convention them. Yeah, everybody get in tit and tongue with the jam, but it's peaceful. After the election, after the, the convention, now we see what happened. You know what it is? It's troublesome. Eh? We don't want for sick cause cause. In the app, look, we avoid for 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 for, for um, direct personality confrontation. Let we deal with issues then. Now the campaign from a salon or what in the app in globally we go affect we just know we then as na Nigeria right now cashless, no money, no day. You get the dollar self when you say for it uh, waiting self. You go for me and change and they say money no day. Pass with the use of bank card then for buy what you want. So they don't get bank card and skin in the skin soon and so far. So people they pass with the app there with bank card for pay for people then. So we don't want them kind of thing in the salon. How we go help so that salon go better and we go continue for enjoy with the salon. Yeah, how you don't lead is so very well, so very be and clear. You know, we don't see, I mean, we are clear, we are focus. We are very, 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 we are absolutely clear. We just now want to achieve. I say we want to get a multi-stakeholder approach because everybody, every Sierra Leonean, get a stake in the peace and stability of the country. So we want to work exactly. with all man. That's a really, really great idea. You know, we want to keep her up. Um, I'm glad you you bring the Namibia example. The Namibians then go through long suffering, going back to school now. We've been seeing Namibians exactly. and they go to school too. You know, back in Sierra Leone, so they yeah. understand what peace means to them. Then jealously the guard, then, then peace mm -hmm. and security. So we see then say this election don't do we all, all Jealous, go back to business. Yeah. Unlike unlike here, we put then the then the pre election to election, you know, we all for go back to something. If we not get we need for fence or something for return to, you know, so elections exactly. don't become, you know, the do or die thing that they have become. Because man, this is done the wait for five years for the election, outcome determine whether I go eat good food. Whether I could go about normal business or something. So, I mean, that's that's mm -hmm. a challenge for political leaders. Uh, so, our somebody, they, exactly. they say this is a very good presentation. You don't demonstrate um, good mastery. Um, somebody don't ask again. Okay, this is not another person. Okay, so we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, let you there first. We'll go come back to you. Uh, okay. So, somebody asks uh, uh, Mr. Bangura. You they come in as PPRC. This is a very challenging times for you. Probably most challenging time for any PPRC administration since the, the establishment back then. Um, every day we see various political parties that come to you. For example, the main opposition. What has it been like? But well, people they even say now you don't find uh, 120,000 newly old loans, new old loans, 120 million loans. Therefore, people within two weeks. Or that, so somebody asks, what do you go do if they fail for do that? You know, so while I talk to me, how are you managing? You are you are damned, you are praised for the interventions there in uh, various political parties there. You know, smaller political parties, for example, like Femi Claudio School in party, then they blame you, you know. So where are, where are we? NGC, so they blame you, so they praise you. Same for the APC. Take me through this. What has it been like? What does it look like? What is it like being PPRC chairperson? You have to regulate grown ups, yeah? People who are mm -hmm. positioned to take over state power. How does it feel doing that? And what has it been like? Well, it's very fulfilling, but at the same time, it's tough. As you say, I mean, I deal with politics, and you know what politics is. Politics is a very emotive something. And uh, for manage, then people in day, you know, easy. You get for get the tact for do that, and also get the maturity and the patience for handle them. But by and large, we're getting on well, 
I know say once on a while there are issues between me and them. Because in the first place, everything that they do, the PPRC just get forgets involved. When it comes to their constitution, if they want to do anything with their constitutions, they have to come to us. And when they bring them constitution and then we gazette them, we they ask for objections from the public. And when their objections say they can come in, my brother, we call them for law seats on their objection and they it also not never easy for we. And aside from the objections, even when they do the intra-party elections, if any of the membership is agreed, either the conduct or the outcome of the elections, then they not so we then they come. And you know, say in every dispute, when you decide for take one side in terms of deciding that dispute, the other side is bound to be agreed. So we can suffer the collateral damage, but we are getting used to that. On the fine you're talking about, as I tell you just now, the new political parties act don't confile, I mean, some adequate uh, enforcement powers. Even the, the course of conduct will be just get as a, some gentlemanly agreement between we and them, now not part of the new act in the form of a schedule. And so therefore, when somebody transgress now, we get the powers. What do you mean? What's that mean? What's that baby grammar they mean transgress? <laughs> when somebody <laughs> broke the law. When oh, somebody okay. do something one or the other in accordance with the law, we now mm -hmm. get sufficient powers for call them to order for me to ensure they comply with the law. Now, mm -hmm. the new act, for instance, empower we say when they conduct your own party activities, you mm -hmm. know, for you cause cause against your political opponents. If you do that one day, uh -huh, go. you are frozen. Actually, that, please. The yeah. we say with the one, and uh, after the registering you, you get the right for going to uh, the Supreme Court for appeal against with decision. So, in the case of the APC, the one the person they, they refer to, when Dr. Samura Kamara be the declare na Makini, we all been see the footage is them where people they sing some obscene songs, very profane songs, yeah. insult mm -hmm. His Excellency the President and his wife. So, what mm -hmm. I did, I wrote to them. And admonish them that this should not happen. When I get for campaign, this election year, when I get for run on issues, not on personality. So I did that letter exactly. to them. And at the end of the day, I be the expect say they're supposed to comport themselves. But unfortunately, when they go for the national delegate conference, we'll be there at the hall, we representatives and be there, they be the monitor. Mm -hmm. During the conference itself, it was peaceful and okay. But no sooner Dr. Samura Kamara was declared the winner, whilst he be the mm -hmm. go. Naios or wherever he was going in the street of Makini, then begin for sing the same song. So it will seem that the one in Obingi, they not pay it to them. And therefore, we move to the next stage of finding them. So now that bring about that fine. And today, if people want to follow the social media, we did three letters. It is not only to the APC, even the yeah. SLPP. We don't send letters to them, we want them yeah. because of the conduct of some membership na the attire base, na unity attire base na Kalbata. And uh, also, we did a letter to the Inspector General of Police for encourage them for inquire into then claims they are when they make my social media say then they attack some senior members of the APC. We don't encourage the Inspector General for let go into them because we now we're responsible for everything they do and we also they take care of their welfare. We don't go through the social media. We don't forage all the platforms we will get for law. We will get a footage of the attacks, but we know we will get one yet. So the most we can do now for refer them to the inspector general and encourage them because then get the way with all for men and go able to investigate them matter than they and come out with findings. So basically, those are some of the collateral damage where we they suffer. We they continue for engage the political parties because we mantra is we engage, we engage, we engage. It's only when engagement fails, then we will invoke the powers where the new acts don't give we. But definitely. We know they find pleasure in evoking those powers. We only wish and hope that uh, when we call the leadership of them political party, uh, then also go think Sierra Leone and begin for advice and support as them. Men and not go outside the rules. I mean, politics okay. is about issues. It's not about attacking the political opponents. Okay. okay. So I see uh, how else am I? You get complimentary messages in the coming. Just champion concert say, um, a glad you don't bring the program back after a short break um, one, two weeks ago.
They say, you may not do an extremely good um, job. You go to the University of McKinney for promote peace. And nowadays, you know, it conform to the maxim, say, jaw, jaw, jaw is better than war, war, war. So keep it up. Congratulations, Hawa. Um, yes. You. So, uh, Okay. Okay, so George Owell, they tell you, um, PPRC chairman, they tell you plenty, plenty, thank you for being steadfast in your job. George Owell, one of the um, regular followers there, um, he might not necessarily tell you what you want to hear. Nobody wants that. Uh, so somebody, they see, uh, Melrose is coming to see, um, Femi Claudio School in party don't join APC and not exist again. Mr. PRC Chairman, are you aware of this? No, I'm not. There has not been any correspondence to that effect. I don't receive any letter from my aid say it don't dissolve in party, and I don't see any evidence of that of in joining the APC. So okay. except so, if, there, if there is evidence who help you with that, but me not aware of that. Okay, Ezekiel Sam King said this is not a great conversation. Because I believe, say, the foundation for peace and security and maintaining law and order, a disciplined society, citizens' knowledge of their civic responsibilities, respect for society and norms, and then values, and they would keep society so, together. So I believe, say, this is a great conversation. All the sides that were responsible for this kind of thing, they talk about this. So, um, Mr. Bangura, would they enter yes, yes. very turbulent times? You don't begin to see the writings on the wall already. Um, so I want to ask you, waiting on a specific election preparedness program for make sure say political parties they not take the law into their own hands for ensure say they stay within the boundaries of decorum of law and order. You know, just like what you don't say. When I get any specific program for the how I say I'll come to you with the same question and we'll take it from there. Yes, legal B. Oh, definitely we do. We get quite a number of programs that we don't line up for them. And they are all geared towards ensuring that we get a very peaceful, credible, open, transparent, and acceptable elections. And uh, some of them program, yeah. yeah, some of them programs they are one where they talk about access, free access, on in that access for all political parties, now all the nooks and cranny of the country. And uh, one way we do them is we they engage the critical stakeholders in all of the districts. We get for mm -hmm. go around and ensure, say, because you know, say, some of the rhetorics there will be done, they happen on the social media. I mean, some people not they feel comfortable again for going to some other parts of the country for launching a campaign in fear mm -hmm. that uh, people will come at them. But uh, we as a commission, we get the responsibility for ensure, say, we talk to people then for may they allow access to every political party and candidate in every part of the country for many set out their messages them. We also intend for call uh, a conference for law to discuss the issue of the campaign mood because uh, we do have the view that uh, the street rallies they are, they know they tend to the well being of the country and then uh, when office say then they will send the messages they wouldn't supposed to send because the whole thing about campaign now for send messages where people will make them buy into what you are saying and they will vote for you. But unfortunately, the street rallies have become jamborees and a platform for misconducting themselves. When people, they go, cost people, attack people, the, 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 the shops. I mean, innocent passers-by. I mean, they can suffer a lot of inconvenience because of the street rallies there. So we are not making it as an imposition. We want to call them to call a conference, them. which we will do. We will call them to a conference. Lord, we all get a very sincere and honest discussion over the issues and they, so that uh, everybody will come out with a position. Because we don't want anybody to accuse the commission of infringing on their human rights, their rights of association and assemble, assembly. But we want to forget a very patriotic conversation on that issue. Day. Let all men decide for take a position as to whether we think that uh, the street rallies and they serve any useful purpose. Or if they don't lose their purpose, then we go look for an alternative. And at the end of the day, if we will come to one, say, let us stop the street rallies, law campaign at designated areas where the police could condone and provide security for everybody. If we come to that kind of agreement, we also approach government for ensure, say, all government infrastructures we go able to accommodate campaign rallies, therefore make it available to every political party without cost. And we also intend for call another conference on hate speech, because that is the difficult thing what we get now. People 
that they peddle hate speech. Some people that they peddle them and me cause them. We they engage the political party on all of those issues, and let we ensure say all men try for be patriotic and let we talk as Sierraleonians, and let we not begin talk on a partisan line. So all of these activities we don't line up quite a number of them. We intend for establish some offices, hard work offices, in some hot spots we don't identify three of them. We already don't secure funding for that one day from uh, Ideas International. We will work with uh, NDI for also promote uh, women's participation in politics, win with women. I mean, all of their activities and they are ongoing and we intend for do that vigorously. Okay, well, you don't you, you don't really lay bare um, when an elections plan there for ensure mm -hmm. see, everybody gets a fair and square chance and for also minimize the potential for violence, for hate speech, and for victory leaks there. So you say we're get three hot spots there. We're not going secure funding mm -hmm. for, for make sure say, the elections are peaceful. Who sign are the three hot spots there? You want to share out um, with followers then? Yes, we get uh, my 91. We intend to get some ad hoc office there. We also get uh, Falaba. We're in another place where we think say, we need to establish some presence there. And then uh, uh, Pujeun, because of the distance also, we want to put in an office there where we'll we establish presence. But more so now for my 91 and Falaba, Mongo. Then say then they all want for the day during the election and shall say we monitor and engage political parties then for me them be peaceful and let the election. I mean, I can always tell that even this morning we had an engagement at the ONS where the ONS, the NS court called that meeting of all registered political parties, the entertainment industry, and uh, other uh, CSOs. We all been there for deliberate on their obscene and profane songs there are ways some artists and they play. And the ambassador for the entertainment industry was there, called Nero, and uh, we also been get some comedians, and they were very established in their own profession. They all been there, they, everybody be make an undertaking. Follow, we all put hands together and do what we able to do for ensure that we contain the people them with the under we for men and conduct themselves within the remit of the law. So everybody is on board. That was a very successful meeting today, and I hope see their engagement and they could continue. Okay, thank you. Um, Van de Afrik Boris say, Mr. Minister, your PPRC guest sounds very good. I'm watching him live from Kenema City. Okay, so to so your credit. That's my little Abaka talk. Sheriff, say, politics is not about a do or die. Sierra Leone people needs to pra need to practice decent politics. Abaka Sheriff, thank you very much. So how are we come to you? The same question we, um, Mr. Bangura, don't take a bite of. Now only he said take a shot at. Um, you know, you don't give when I overarching mandate, you know, the plans they wanna get now on a strategic plan. Basically, as I listen to you, another one day I see. But uh yeah. the strategic plan very good. But this is a very, very uh challenging moment with the enter the elections, you know. Mm -hmm. So I want for see which specific interventions, which specific programmatic. Um, level actions they wanna get for make sure say we na able impact on the process. Let nobody know fed fed with our partners. And while I share out, we just like when you listen to your colleague don't talk to we. Okay. Well, um, first we for realize the commission a new body. So based on that, whilst we they look at the elections as elections preparedness, we also don't decide as a team that whatever structures them would be put in place, then they become lasting structure. Then they become parts and parcel of the commission itself. Because the commission, yes, for election preparedness, now we mandate, but we mandate now for ensure say salon begins so up again, because we don't count down in terms of the global peace index, we did 50 and we did five for Africa. We want for see how we we'll go back and overtake the one that we don't come between this being term and become the most peaceful country in Africa. And from some of the things that we don't learn from other country them, then get proper structures them in place where they help them for do this. And as some of them have been they talk about. Against this background, we elections prepare next for us. 
AU don't come, they may don't come, they don't can do feasibility study, then they help with a set up a situation room. And this situation room, yeah, so now situation room more than don't set for other infrastructure for peace around Africa. But now West Africa, now we are the first people there within the can help for set up this kind of situation room. It's a proven one. And it will help we with we all the warning and all the response mechanism. And it will help we for monitor a lot of things that we as just the ONSF will benefit from at the end of the day. And um, this situation room gets structures them we get for work with. One inside situation room we get for get um, media analysts so go to watch waiting they happen at the media. We get political analysts we go to watch waiting they happen at the political atmosphere. And the data them where they come in we also will get data analysts them we go to analyze in them for make way for take swift action. We also get for we already. Then not all because from the term way, um, the from the registration we don't get peace monitors them at the district them. We don't start their work already. We get minimum of twenty five peace monitor at every district as I talk to you, and then already don't don't they give you information on what's in the happening, whether being at the lower level elections them or whether being at the for registration or. And it's where they happen at the districts, and then they give you information first hand and in real time. So then one day we will continue for capacitate them, and we will then will continue the work even after elections. We also the train, we already get them as well. Uh, civil society them. I've been don't talk about them one day we don't make the the um, peace coalitions then and then districts them. We they train them so become proactive for conflict prevention them. That means we will make activity them, whether with now with bloggers them on at the district, then go we'll tell every district go they set up their activity what they want for they do for conflict prevention. So a lot of experts not go they they then know them terrain better than we. Then know what in the app in day, then know what in can call then districts down when they do some of them kind of activity then they whether na football, whether na then go we'll decide your activity and we go work with them. So that then go they do the activity then they we also don't get um the different company that we don't give we free air time where we get for the get we with different different um partners them that is districts for the good talk they now they air time them hopefully in the next one week they air time then they, then, then they begin we they begin utilize them we design the mou this week um, what then I am, my deputy, they signed the MOU with some of them partners. We don't give you free airtime them around the country. So, different districts, whether in a Parman chief, whether in a Pekin them, whether in a youth them, they all get for the Gona radio for radio talk. Because the more we talk, the more we talk to ourselves, and the more we agree with self, then we go able for fence solution with anything where they happen now. We now we district, and nobody know who come for come full. We follow fair to self. Who at the end of the day. Then get for left go way election done done. Now then can talk then they will get for the talk to we until even after the elections don't pass to even after then don't call results. So we get airtime then way we get for the utilize. We also don't set up and we will we'll get for train um, mediators them now the districts them. We get two mediators them. We get woman them we get for take the lead for the mediate. You know say woman them we get patient and. President want for see woman them. I should say all my one, one lady thirty percent where they don't put in place become active. So we they make the woman then go immediate a lot, but we know say terrain and they whether we like it or not. Salon still na patriotic. That means na man them been not used for day before. So we get the man them another set of five man them we involve parliament chief them, religious leader them and societal leader them we get for the help so that if woman them they meet up problem when a man problem they go come to them man they are so we go help them for go solve the issue so that we're not going to endanger their life them so here yeah, every district can forget minimum of 10 mediators them we go to help if issue happen around that district then they 
um, for go help with the mediation. But if we find out, say, then 10 people and then are then districts, then they're not able to resolve the problem, then they will tap into the regional mediation team we will go get for put up. We will get for tap and um, get media and um, um, regional mediation team. We go make up from different, different districts then. If they want and they fail for resolve the problem, then it means we get for escalator to national issue. We ONS and even people that we get for sit down our situation room go able for step in for help we resolve whatever conflicts they happen in that district state. Another set much. of people there. Okay. No, we, no. Sorry, go. On. Okay, another set of team where we we also get for the do now phone line eight nine eight now the emergency line where we open our mango no uh, because we don't open our first but don't close them because we set up the system then so immediately all mango no see that line then our the hotline way for call if anything they happen and in real time people then go able for for attend to now because we get with district coordinator we get with regional coordinator they will get for the work with so that we go the if that thing they will get for work with awareness of People put your hand together for ensure say we all work this work for make sure say the election peaceful for Mama Salu. Okay, thank you very much, Hawa. Um, the family we the we we don't join we from around the world, um, more than the Sierra Leone or from, uh, from abroad. I want to encourage you now and allow continue for share um the link so that more and more people then go join we. This is a very interesting conversations. Then we are not the people that we really get so no more for can discuss their work. We already see the non cover enormous grounds, you know, particularly for the Peace Commission, relatively young, but already in the punch above their weight. You know, you get a lot of commendations that come in there. Uh, so they are on a lot of share to family, friends, loved ones, and at the various groups there. This debate can continue even after after the program officially end. So um So somebody they say, um, people ask the chairman and say, Western urban, urban and rural send a place owner for keep an eye on because they send a potential hot spots. Then that one day, particularly as they approach this election. Yes. Mohamed B. Kalong, uh, so Mohamed B. Kalong, Natache, Egypt, and they ask Madam Hawa, Samai, do you have any interest in collaborating with other African countries? That have stronger peace mediation institutions for experience sharing. So that's your question, Hawa. You can respond to MB Kalong. Uh, yes. Osprey Kamara. Is it how can yes, you help? Um, Kalong. No, just a minute here. Yeah. Osprey Kamara, they say, how can you help to curtail the okay. culture of toxic political rhetoric in the campaign period? You know, yes. We're too toxic in we in we pronouncements and we campaign. So Osprey is very concerned. How is that going to be dealt with? Nena is uh, so it's a what if SFP come out to campaign and people who are pretending to be one of us abusive words, will you find them too? How will you know that they are not with you guys? Yes, how are, so yes. How are you keeping okay, the first um, part, Jerry? First, I'll start first with Kalong Union. Yes, we they collaborate with other um, African countries this commission they got in peace count 10 years now and me and then they in touch with the exchange ideas in fact then just launch um the the policy on hate speech and all them cost cost business here so um three days ago and then share then copy with me and then they said very interested for calm for car watch waiting the happen at the election and now with a setup because they say some even though we their own peace council on there for 10 years, the certain thing that will they put in place, for example, like waiting um the AU they can do for women at the first na the na the sub region, then they do one. So they say one can learn from that. So they say go go implement some of them things. And then we said they learn from them. One of the things they more they learn from them now the conversation. They say one thing we don't keep Ghana low in terms of um Bokude problem they are so na conversation, dialogue. A lot of dialogue they go on at Ghana. Now the district, now the chiefdom them, 
you see a lot of dialogue they go and because people then they talk then they able to resolve the problem among themselves in terms now the communities them so now that same thing they will say they learn from them so that we say self go put go push then kind of i should say when people then talk to themselves then my make us all go stop because if people then constantly they talk to you and they tell you say some of them tell you they do not fine or for the go and um, broke people posted not fine constantly when they talk to ourselves, even within the political party when they talk to ourselves, definitely people then go change in due course and um, even egypt self don't meet we because they self get um through the ministry of foreign affairs and all right so we until we say then get quota for help with with capacity building let we say and then um um we need and then we'll see how then we'll chip in as i talk to you with the work on the the concepts right now so that we can we go forward and to them earliest possible term so within conversation with them so we they work with different different african countries them for the benefit of mama africa members of all the work towards the 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 africa 2063 goal so um um thank you very much our is the case i'm keen to ask you as the chairman, so if you get any interest, they propose a veiled proposal. Say it would be a great idea for they engage with young generation leaders of the various political parties and explain to them, you know, the value of peace, then in the peaceful coexistence, and all in the day. Somebody they propose that, sir. That's from Ezekiel Sam King. We already did the engagement then day. Just about last week, we've been getting a team from the Netherlands. I mean, it's a think tank in the Netherlands, we then call Cleaning Dell. They can perform, I they can conduct a training for all the young persons in politics. We have this outfit we we'll call APA, APA, sorry, All Political Parties Youth Association. And uh, the executive of that outfit today, they also be benefit from that training day. So we are engaging the young people. It's not only those in politics, but every young person. One thing we have even forget for mention, when we'll be together by elections, they have been able to be called float parade. On the cooling off day, we they take the streets of the constituency, we say them they do them by elections and they then we they put the candidates in one vehicle and we drive around the constituency for many good wave to them. People then send out messages of peace. So one replicate that for this uh, general elections where they come. On the 23rd of June, that day, day, the streets of this country will be exclusively for the PPRC. We they go out there on a national peace march and uh, we they get recorded clips them of the leadership of all political parties sending out messages of peace and we hire trucks, go around sending those messages and ensure say, everybody, all the man, will try to maintain the peace. You know, when it perpetrates violence in itself, it's utterly disrespectful to the people because the election are the only opportunity where the ordinary person gets for participating in the governance of the state. And that is the time when the people make a decision as to who they want for them and the affairs of the country for a given period. And then if on that day you go, you perpetrate violence, and through those violence, you ward off quite a number of people. They not come out for casting votes, then you don't disenfranchise them people then they and it is disrespectful to them and therefore we will continue for engage political parties they are difficult to manage no matter what you do somebody will complain so these are things we are faced with and we'll continue for do we utmost for ensure say we call them to order and we work with each other politics not a team for go kill you company for at the end of the day now one person get for image the winner and if you want to go into a contest, you get to also be prepared for accept defeat. And when you win, you get to be magnanimous in victory. So those are some of the activities where we don't line up for help. This election for come out truly and the outcome acceptable to everybody. Okay, so uh, Mr. Bangura, um, somebody they say, I think they go better lay announce and force now all local language, local radio stations there. Uh, before you find one political party. May not go say for this now, but I think say going forward, um, we need for probably simplify the law there and, and get local radio stations then for the talking with local languages. So everybody gets to understand it. So that politician are not going to take you for 50,000 loans or for 50 loans. They can't give you, put in a street, 
you get in harm's way. You commit an offense, so you go go jail for. Of course, that's not a project. We get for popularized, we act. We they translate mm -hmm. them into various uh, local language. On freeze. Yes, we make a read of that within the next uh, two or three weeks. So yes, it's a project we we'll get at time. Okay, so I want for I want for encourage we we people that already follow we would watch we for most of our on a day for continue for share the link. Um, it's been a very illuminating conversation, uh, really great uh, with both panelists. Then they really hold their own. Since so now fifty fifty, we get now self not to thirty percent. One man, one, one man, one woman that they will get here today. And they also don't do justice to this conversation very, very much. Time they about for Kechwe. And so since Hawaii said they're on a mission already, I think they they want our head, right? Um, we said in I may just come over and maybe I know even I know even um, change it. Um so today would keep would keep time to time strictly. So I'm for as with the roundup, we'll get five minutes more. As with the roundup, I want for encourage people then for continue for share the links there. We we'll value the contributions there. We we'll value the very uh, progressive exchange there. Uh, Lock on for share and the groups then. So family to friends to well wishers and at all groups. Every sort of linear opinion matters here. Jaw jaw jaw. They say it's better than war war war. So um, how I, I want to let you talk to family now. You are addressing Sierra Leone. Now the elections don't cancel now. What do you expect of each and every Sierra Leonean or political leaders there? Just talk to we as if they were within sight now. How are you there? Okay. Madam Samai. Oh, yes. I have not lost you. Not safely. No, no, no. You, you, you hear me? Yes, yeah, I, say. I hear you. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. take a shot now at it. Okay. Firstly, we'll get for realizing we all not share union today. And we get for be proud of we green, white, and blue. There is no place like home. No place, no FIBA. Saloon. With beautiful mountains. We see. We valleys. It make a member why they go summer Bendugu. Oh, I be they go and call it pan salon. Because now the first time I reach now then tell you in then day. I say, eh, hey, Papa God, salon fine. We really, really need to appreciate salon. And trust me, salon fine. One of the things them will get for realize now that we all, as I've been saying at that press release, where we make the first time, we all now we all don't bring salon for the last 21 years from where Pakaba been say the war done done to so today. Now we all don't help for bring salon in peace. Whether you young, whether you old, whether you agile, whether you sick, whether you're a Muslim, whether you're a Christian, you don't contribute for make salon be Usai Ibiso. You I should say you know what makes salon worst. All man get good intention for salon, no matter whose political party you belong. You get good intention for salon. You want to see salon better. You want to see salon progress. But salon will progress if we continue for fets for destroyer. We not go enjoy salon if all day we depa alala, we depa run run, shop near the open. Then we not go enjoy salon. We not go enjoy salon if you need to talk to your neighbor. If if you want win an eye party, not to buy fets. Now for talk to them, fine. Now for care for them. Then you go see, go join you. But for them, we sit down all day with the pool in, person they the rest, all day as they come here, as they worry, waiting down there for, for say, oh, now they now one office, all day the person not, not gladdy. I don't think saying that that's what we want for we safe. Salon, now we all young. Again, I go say I'm salon now we all young. May we all put we hand together, no matter how you can, no matter how small you get upper hand, just like where President say, if you never angry self, ever. 
You don't know by that FDN, I go make you give you vote. Too. You go say, you know, it's like I go vote for this person party because now you don't use for help me. We don't need for make proud power we safe. Do you are big? A big. Let we not fetch fetch we say for this election. This not this election, they can go. You know what lost your life? You particular win, and then you're not there for enjoy. Do you are big? Let we all jealously guard this peace for this election. Tell your neighbor, so only the fetch now. We go go vote. If somebody and boy, you go police. Police them, then go take charge. I did already for do that. Day. Do you and a big are the big? Even then, JC them, where they oversee, waiting you don't know, left a post on a social media. JC don't tell me something, where incessant investigator, I find out say wrong. I say, I oh, wait, you mean they tell me not to. Now say, no, they take all things on social media. So do you, JC, where you see something, you not verify them, you not prove them, not share them. Because it they creates too much coscas inside the country. Now they create unnecessary hate, unnecessary strife. But who cost cost? Then today they are the amount of cost what I don't see in social media. And why they watch the number, but who not just see number? Una day and that some of them are not ready for come home safe. But do you are the big one, I don't make trouble for them. Who say we they enjoy. And I sure say you go out for car holiday one day. You know, go one car, salon no better, salon don't bond on. Also, that kind of salon day you want car. So do ya. Let we all Olan. We all na one family. Whether you be team in Limba, Loko, Mende, we we'll go church or mosque. We we'll they pick whose tribe will belong. We all they pray, whether na Muslim prayer, or we all they dance, whether na church you go. So do ya. Let we put that into practice when it can to we, 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 we values them. For, for elections and political affairs. And then we all work together for the good of Mama Salon. We're all thinking because I know we all go work for that. For maintaining a peaceful and cohesive society, particularly at such very challenging times. Somebody they come in and say, I want to respond to that person. They, this is not you. They say, um, so this is not the government of Sierra Leone. There's a PP government. Now we don't make, we don't recede and we peace and we, we, we peace ranking. Well, when you have a very um, lawless opposition party, when you have an opposition party that does not believe in decorum, that believes in using obscenities, that believes in lawless methods to acquire power, these elections will be about law and other issues. They will be about President Bill's records, in education, in healthcare, in peace and stability, and then we will not make this election about cost cost. It will not be about violence. We will ensure that we midwife this, for this democracy for which many sacrifices have been made. Mr. Kamara, just for letting you know that. Joseph Mori Amadou say, he said the situation room is of great essence, more es especially when the election is around the corner. May God give you the wisdom and strength for you to run this great commission. Thank you very much, Power. So, one for listening to um, Mr. Abdullah Bangura, your last word. I want to go into you. Go for talking the last one now, too. Yeah, same here. Same advice and uh, same admonition. We, in the commission, the PPRC, will continue to encourage, encourage all the political actors then for many and put the country first. And many and be respectful, mutually respectful to each other particularly for those where they aspire for, go to certain offices. That is the office you they aspire to. And at the same time, you they disrespect the current occupant of that office day. In the event you go the day, you don't go want for men and go treat you that man a day. So we, they continue to engage them and for, for encourage all of them for men and show mutual respect for themselves and men and stop them coscosia. Then coscosia you know, they solve any problem whatsoever. The only thing they do, now for let it go make you begin and grow up for no say, cause no normal thing, and then a very bad society. I mean, definitely, then they know not to think they will go and pass on to begin them. Growing up, we then train we for no say, mommy cause not to think for always the pedal around. I mean, imagine that this particular country now at the sea woman they listen to somebody where they cost in company woman. We say we grow up when it costs one woman, 
Now, every woman, it don't cost. But now, woman, they play something for, let listen to somebody where they describe in company woman, and then they find pleasure in that. I don't know who side we don't get to. So, we they appeal, at least for what we come back to a normal culture and with civilization, we don't get say. We'll get for respect to self, and then she'll say we get decent conversation on every issue, so that at the end of the day, we will disagree for agree. But you know, who come, you feel say, EU opinion, you go force our own people then by disrespecting them for the cost cost them and do every lawless uh, conduct just for frightening people then. So we they appeal to the politicians and please, let we continue for engage. We get the multi-party forum where they provide opportunity to participate when not in a parliament for men and self get a say on emerging issues in the country. We get a dialogue launch for the participants within our parliament, follow with the engage on emerging issues. That is the way to go. Lord, we all come, Lord, we talk to WISEF. I mean, if we talk to WISEF, as long as you don't get a morphic chest, you will be able to be healed somehow. But for continue for confront in this manner, I don't think say that one day helpful for the country and not to the kind election that one day we want to see. We want to get an election as the chief electoral commission, I can always say. We election, they go on, we begin and they go to school. The market woman, they go to market, they go selling business. At the end of the day, they announce the results. If you go into Plaba with your neighbor because of politics, when politics is over, that neighbor, they continue to live with them. You know, get mine again for look and in face because if you don't go firm Plaba because of ordinary politics. Politics, people forget a fallback because now one of the problems they never in the most politicians they not get a fallback. Is it a politics or they die? So that's why most of them can desperate. As a politician, you forget a fallback. If politics not work out, you for able to get a vocation where they go to and you able to earn your living for the period where you go there without politics. Or if you say politics is the be all and end all, now then they bring some of them desperations there who they see in who politicians them. So do you? No members say this country is the only country we will get. And we all want to pick in them for ensure say we pass over to them a decent society, a society with morals, and a society where they respect elders. Any society will not get respect for elders. And when I talk about elders in terms of accomplishment and in terms of age, I mean when somebody don't accomplish in many ways, naive endeavors, I think they deserve respect. So do our politicians, political parties. We will continue for encouragement. As I say, we get a lot of activities that we will engage on our own. And we hope, say, their engagement and they will pay some dividend. Law and all just go to waste with breath and waste with time on Una. Law we all members say, Salon now we own, now all money you own, and nobody not get this country passing company. If at the moment the people then say, now you for rule we, Law we all give support and respect. If it is your turn, you will expect the same for let people give respect and support to you. So then my meal calls they are then for stop. And as I will be the talk, most of them bad things they are where they happen at this country, it originates from the diaspora. People didn't have the comforts of the West, then they enjoy the civilization of other countries, them, then they enjoy the decency where they exist in their country, then they then, then they send in external messages in their own country. They try for incite problems in the country. I mean, what in a one day go earn you? At the end of the day, let us even say you succeed in disintegrating this country. Who's benefit will you get out of them? So if I see the you and I, me and you not to enemies. I mean, you know me brother, you know me sister. Why you not go talk to me? And attacking personalities. Instead of you talk to me, you come after me. That will not resolve any issue whatsoever. So please, the elections and they are around the corner, and we go there with the political parties then with the follow on a campaign trail, and we ensure say we encourage una and assist una for let be law abiding. We know they get any pleasure in imposing fines against a political party or any other thing. I mean, we only get to that extent when we don't feel say we don't do everything we could do for law we call una to order, for law we all behave decently and accommodate each other. Tolerance is the watchword. We all get for tolerate each other, and we all get for understand, say, this is not a contest. Definitely win a good day, lose a good day. 
So be a long no kill kill yourself because of politics. If you kill all men out of this country, whether they can rule. At the end of mm -hmm. the day, you need people. You need people for rule them. But if you come with that kind of violence now, you kill everybody. And you, the politicians, are the talk to una. Law will be cautionable. Most of una wanna pick in a nodding at this country. And most of una wanna do the same wanna pick in a treat for who misconduct themselves and face police. Now other people picking them. Poor people. When they take advantage of their ignorance, when they take advantage of their poverty, when they take advantage of everything we want to face, when I take advantage of, when I send other people them out here on the street for confront police and confront other security sector actors, we should stop this. Lord, we all stop okay. this. The same way, way they protect you, picking the way they outside the under, and at the same way, way you love you, picking them way you don't send outside the under, and at the same way, that poor mommy and that poor papa. papa they have loved them picking away the same as streets for good day. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Bangura. Um, my friend, um, Peter Beckley Senior, say how what a powerful way to end it. Um, so I said, could not have been better put. So, Mr. One for join Una on a final note. Um, by way of rounding up, law all knows like I talk somewhere else today. We now look at champions there, the only place we know, Naya. We'll not get two passports. So we'll get a very vested interest in the peace, stability, and tranquility of this country. At the sea, just like we, my colleague the non-talk, res otherwise responsible citizens, quote unquote, they left a day, then they cost woman cost, then they cost man cost, then they cost responsible people then. You know, waiting not happen to our country. We'll be in the grow up, now then values they need in the Bible and we. But now I see. Family values don't collapse because people who are supposed to be parents there, eh, then, then they in fact they participate in this. Some then, like we um, PPRC commissioner say, some then and they share them kind of people. Eh. This is not a sad day for a country, even if not to politics. Because one for all picking and grow up in a society where they get values. No country is not able to develop if you're not getting core values and they offer respect for accomplishment, of respect for age, all ends in the day. Now make like where you go abroad. People then we don't hold, then they call them senior citizens. Once you don't work, you even get priority where they enter boss, where they go in a queue situations, this, that, that. But now, yeah, I see all man the things say everybody's game for cost. You know, um, we want for use this opportunity for strongly advise political parties and what they in this habit. Sorry, not to wanna say when I've been on the one politicians, but let me say use this as a government functionary for say this. Um we will be the do one rally with President Kababin the run. Kemosi say and others, then call and they say the man of Kolonko you know marry. They took all the women of Frita for jump onto the street, say now we na you kolonko, we na you kolonko take go. Now the same thing in Obi again. That cost cost day. You call music, uh, what is it? Basta picking people and the dance to and people who are aspiring to lead, lead our great nation. I have never seen anything more irresponsible than that. We need for reduce the decibel. Of the incendiaries there. They are not good for our country. They're not good for Pekine, who they say that the next generation of leaders there. You know, so people then were grown up enough like a we will know what's in the 11 year old war do. I have people and they say, oh, we'll go to war, we'll go to war. You have not seen war. You did not see it. A whole generation of young people, they know they miss out on schooling, they miss out on vocational technical training. Nanami could grapple with this massive problem, you know. So let nobody not crave for war. War means waste all resources. You might not even live, live to see the end of that war. You know, other countries, then we don't say, uh, or natural disasters, we know what it look like. This country, law jealous with peace, stability, and security, law gather and jealously. This is the only place we call home. Well, uh, Aruna said, the watch we from Makini, Aruna Kamara, um, and the Telwin thank you. Thank you very much, Aruna, for following us. Now, for helpful for share. Let more and more people join the debate. On that note, I want to tell my panelists then plenty, plenty thank you for we didn't take time off for joining us tonight. And we are the very esteemed viewers then, and people then who don't keep this program truly and honestly interactive. We cannot thank you enough. But all this is in the service of the only country or call us. We want to thank you, Lord, continue for share and let the debate go. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Madam Samai, please keep us briefed from, from Nigeria. We're also interested in the Nigerian elections. <laughs>